Hi, beautiful Geminis. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you're all doing fabulous, Gemini. Let's get some overall messages for Gemini. At this time, what does Gemini need to see, know, or hear? Name that thing. The importance of sleep. It's time to rise. This is your path alone. Someone could be blinded by bias. It is time to tell your story. This is an unfair judgment. It's almost like knowledge is power. Giving someone the knowledge that they need. So someone you could be having restless sleep or someone you know might be very restless. The thing that seems to be bothering someone is bias. Judging someone unfairly, someone being judged unfairly, someone being biased. So this could be about anything. Bias can be... Um, belief systems, bias can be uh, judging someone either by their ethnicity, their sexuality, their belief systems, their coloring, you know what I mean? Their position in life, their position of money, anything. Something is, um, you feel like you have got to give somebody knowledge or that you're tired maybe of being judged or someone judging you. Let's see. It's like maybe they lack knowledge. I don't know. There's some kind of... Judging someone by... It could be their authenticity. I don't know. Or their ethnic background. This is about night, about balance, about distance. It's like someone causing some kind of grief here about I don't know, someone feels distant or someone is distancing themselves. Someone is acting distracted or is trying to distract someone. From seeing some kind of abundance, somebody anticipating something. Hang on. Let's find out what's this all about for Gemini. What's this bias all about for Gemini? Well,
there's fishies here. Someone's just trying to feed their family. This could be to do with um, this could be survival. Somebody is like judging someone by, I don't know, their, their good luck, their blessings. Somebody is stressed out, worried. Maybe they're up late at night worrying about finances or worrying about uh, some relationship. It could be to do with finances. Somebody could be worrying about their finances or they could be um, judging someone. There is some kind of close connection here. There is good luck here. Someone is getting very prosperous, getting a lot of good fortune, a lot of good luck. Um, somebody might be wanting to go toward someone who is a spiritualist. Ah, okay, so somebody could be judging someone unfairly due to their spiritual belief system. Because they're getting good luck, good fortune here, they are blessed these are blessings so somebody over here is in survival mode they're up late night worrying about their finances up late worrying about their money they may have to move or they're worrying that This is a, a close relationship, but what's going on here? Okay, this is a high priestess who is very prosperous. And they're getting good luck, good fortune. They may have started a new business or a new career or something like that. So somebody here... is angry this is someone chosen and somebody is bitter and angry this is an emperor who has been judging this high priestess? That's the bias. Someone does not think it's fair that this high priestess is getting good luck, good fortune. They could have been judging them on their spir spiritual belief system. They're getting good news. So this could have been a, a soulmate connection. And some, this emperor or the emperor's family could have been judging this high priestess because of their spiritual belief system thinking
Yeah, they ghosted them. They betrayed them. This could be hurtful gossip and slander at work. Like they're genuine, they're dedicated, they're loyal. This person has feelings for whoever this person is. But they're thinking here that they would have been foolish. Somebody saying, you be a fool if you was to be with this high priestess. So they, they broke up with them <laughs> because of their spiritual belief system. This is someone very confident. This is someone who they would have had a happy Ten of Cups situation with. But they would judge them on their spiritual belief system. They're traditional. It's over religion. So they sacrifice a true love connection, a soulmate connection, who they would have had a ten of cup, a happy ending with. This person is blessed with good luck, good fortune. They're very dedicated. They're very loyal. They're very independent. They're confident. They're a leader. This was their friend, their soulmate, their joy, their happiness. But because of traditional belief systems, they sacrificed their soulmate because of religious and spiritual differences. Their own fears. Bias. Heavy judgment. Heavy judgment. Oh, we don't want no spiritual people, blah, 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 blah. No, cut them off. This is a past life soulmate connection. Blinded by bias. This is a king of, of wands. Blinded by bias. their own insecurities oh my god Made the decision to end the relationship. Cut them off. It's the truth. This is not over culture. This is not over sexuality. This is not over anything but religious and spiritual belief system. They judged this high priestess, rejected them for a third party, walked away, didn't trust them. Yet this was the 11-11. Could have been their twin flame soulmate. Someone highly respectable. They could have been trusting, mistrusting, you know, their reputation. What is the crowd going to say? What are people going to say? What are my friends going to say? What are my family going to say? Well, you know, this is bullshit. This was their true love.
they would have had success. They would have had their true love. What the hell? But they, they snuck away. They ran away. Worried about their own reputation. This was a freaking empress. A star. This was their wish fulfillment. Everything they had ever wanted, everything that they had ever wished for, spirit granted them. Here you go. Here is your true love. This is bring you joy. This will bring you good fortune. This will bring you balance. This will... And they snuck away Worried about their reputation? Oh. This was everything they'd ever wished for and prayed for. And they turned their back on them. Listen to jealous manipulators. Now they're in regret. They could have given an offer to someone else. Someone interfering, see? For their own self-gain. They pushed this earth angel away. They could have accused them of being the devil. Oh, that they do the devil's work. You know those spiritual people, they're no good. Those people who believe in spiritualism, oh, they're all going to go to hell, fire and brimstone. Yet they're angelic messengers. So how do they how do they come up with that? These are angelic messengers. God will use anybody God wants to use. Yes, and even spiritual people. You know, even spiritual people can believe in God. God will use who God wants to use as a tool to deliver messages. And they are telling their story. This empress is telling their story. Why are you judging? We're all brethren. We're all brothers. We're all sisters. How can you judge without yourself being judged? They judge them, accuse them. Oh, they're the devil. They are the devil. They're heathens. You know, they're all fire and brimstone and you're going to go go to hell because you believe in spiritualism. No, these are chosen ones. These are divine messengers. These are God's people. Whether anybody likes that or, or not, sometimes God will use religious people. Sometimes God will use spiritual people. Well, who else is going to deliver a message? Just saying, oh, they're the devil. They're not the devil. They're angels. Sometimes we can judge people as being the devil when they're actually angels. The question is, who wants you to believe that? Could be this character right here. They hurt their true love, whether they are their spiritual beings, their divine messengers, <laughs> they're blessed, they're chosen ones. And they were making fun of them. Listening to the advice of others. Oh, you better end that connection. <laughs> They're spiritual. <laughs> They're spiritual. <laughs> They're all going to die. They're all going to go to hell. They're not going to see God. They're spiritual people. They're the devils. Who is that saying that?
who was saying that was competing with this empress. That's who was saying that. This other lover was competing with the empress, you know, using um, a religious approach to saying, oh, they're the devil. Those spiritual people, you can't trust them. But actually, it was this other lover who shouldn't have been trusted. They're doing the devil's work. Okay. I don't care if they're religious or not. Anyone who is doing what they're doing is not of God. I don't care what their religion is. That's the bias. I'm blinded by bias. So this person lost out on their true love. The love that God had sent them. But they rejected it because it was the wrong belief. Well, God wouldn't have sent it. God didn't want it to be put together. What will the church say? What will my family say? What will my friends say? What will everybody say if I commit to this empress? So I'll leave them out in the cold. I'll reject them. I'll go choose another lover who they were cheating with anyway and call themselves traditionalists. Oh well. Instead of protecting their union, instead of protecting what God gave. Yes, some a lot of spiritual people believe in God. A lot of spiritual people are more godly than the people who claim to be godly. Has anybody heard of spirit-filled Christians? What is the spirit? Even the Catholics, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. There is a spiritual, the Holy Spirit is spirit. People confuse that. Oh my God, well, they read tarot or they're into this or they're into that. They must be the devil. <laughs> That's the bias I'm talking about was nothing else it's bias and it's looking like they're being haunted by that bias because whoever this high priestess is has a message to share and more than likely that is the message People judging people, you know. Oh. 
Watch your words is the warning. Oh, keep your distance from those spiritual people. Yet those are the people who God has chosen to share a message. And this obviously is the message. It's about bias. It's about judgment. It's about, you know... I'm not even getting into it because I got no use for that. I got no use for that topic at all. But this person had one. They were their one true faithful friend. They had one person who is completely honest and truthful to them. And that's what they did. And they judged that very person. Spirit psych, you reap what you sow. You don't do your friends dirty like that. You don't throw people under the bus like that. Have a good laugh at them and mock them. And they did nothing to earn that. This person did absolutely nothing, nothing to warrant the treatment that they received. They distanced themselves, worried about their own reputation, what people would say. This is a complete farce to what we're taught in the Bible. We're told that, you know, you look at Jesus who walked the streets, you know what I mean? And everyone said, why are you washing that person's feet, Lord? Why are you talking to those people? Why are you associating with those people? We're getting too carried away here. So I'm leaving it. Take care.